Hello, my YouTube family. How are you? It's Tammy TKD Gal here, and I'm here with an exciting nail polish discovery haul, whatever you want to call it. First impression. Um, I was out today. I'm by the way, I'm off, so there's no makeup. My nails aren't done. Hair is not done. Don't don't judge me. I'm off. Anyway, um, so. I was out shopping today and I have been looking for this line of nail polishes for like the last month since I've seen it on Nouveau Cheap's blog about a month ago. But I haven't been able to see it and all of the girls who have found them have said, oh I found them in my local Meijer and I, you know my Meijer don't even have it, not even close. So I was like not even looking for it and bam, my husband's eagle eyes caught this and was like, aren't these the ones that you're looking for? I was like, yes. So let's just get right into it, okay? I'm not going to hold you in suspense any longer. Well, maybe just a little bit longer. Let me show you what I have on my nails right now. Now, I've been doing some cleaning, okay? And today is the day that I do my nails, so don't judge me, okay? But here's what we have on today. Okay, and this is OPI's Loose Certainly Look Marvelous, which is kind of, if I had to guess, this is, I would say this is kind of a charcoal gray with kind of a, a blue undertone with silver shimmers. It's really pretty on the nails. Very, very fall appropriate, as you can see there. Okay, now that that business is taken care of, let us get on to the polishes. Okay, so what I found, as you can tell by the title of this video, I'm sure, is the Sally Hansen Triple Shine Nail Polishes, okay? So this is, uh, show you what the bottle looks like. It's kind of a weird, kind of a, I don't even know what shape that is. It's kind of rectangular. <laughs> um, and I'll just kind of show you the entire bottle all the way around. There we go. And then this little top comes off. Okay, and then this is the actual cap that has the brush attached to it. So I'm going to show you guys what the brush looks like. Uh, funny story while I'm cleaning this off. Um, so I bought these at my local Walgreens, and they're BOGO, buy one get one 50% off, okay? So I bought this at my local Walgreens, got home, was getting ready to swatch it on my little swatch wheel, which I have here, and this one, the one that I like the most, had no brush. No brush. I don't know what that was about. So here is the brush up and close and personal. As you can see, it's kind of a wide brush, but it's got a rounded tip, which is kind of different from like the um, Wet n Wild Mega Last, which has the wide brush, but it has kind of um, a square kind of tip, and then it has that angle on one of the brush sides. So we're going to definitely see how the brush is. I mean, I'm excited. The brush looks really nice. Um, one of the first things that I noticed about these polishes is that it kind of has a smell to it, like not a good one either. Um, it kind of smells like a nail salon. It must be acrylic or something in here um, because it kind of smells like a nail salon, that kind of acrylic kind of a um, chemical-y smell. That, it's just a hint of it. It's not like overwhelming, but when I opened it the first time I was like, oh, okay, that's a different smell, you know. Um, so yeah, so let me tell you uh, what Sally Hansen says about these uh, triple shines. I have my little tablet here. It says water to work out day in and day out. Nothing will dull these nails. The gloss uh, is protected with the Ultimate Shield Complex, exclusive to Sally Hansen, designed with polish to help the polish withstand the wear and tear of everday living non-stop shine, outshine them all in their 29 shades, okay? And then the top coat is a triple shine acrylic top coat. So there are 29 shades here. I picked up six of them. So let's get into the swatches and the colors so you guys can know what I'm talking about here. So this first one here is called Vanity Flare, which is kind of a dark uh, cream purple. When I first saw this, the first polish that came to mind was uh, Planks a Lot from the Pirates of the Caribbean collection from OPI. But it's not quite as dirty as that color is because that color is a little bit dirty. Um, 
so there is the polish right there and check out that glossiness do you see that shine there's no top coat on here this is just two coats to get full opacity to the color that is in the bottle so our next color is called uh, slick black with number 190 and as you can see let me see if I can describe this this is kind of like a dark uh, charcoal gray color and it has silver glitters in it silver shimmers glitters whatever here we are it almost kind of matches the polish that I have on right let's see if I can get that here kind of but it's a little bit darker just a little bit darker here let me hold up this one to this one so you guys can see this one's just a little bit darker. This one's a little bit lighter. Very pretty still though. The next one is the one that I'm going to put on my nails as soon as I'm done filming. Is Wavy Blue number 390. And it's kind of a dark cobalt blue with blue shimmer in it. Okay. And that one is right here on the nail wheel. Just absolutely gorgeous, beautiful. Next, we have a cream red in number 230, Red Snapper. And this one is kind of an orangey red. Now, it's looking a little bit more pinky red or pinkish red on camera, but in real life, it's definitely a little bit more of a tomatoey red. Um, but it's really pretty. You know, you always need to have a classic red, a couple of classic reds in your collection. So here is the swatch. Okay, our next one is called Sparkling Water. And this is a dark teal with shimmer in it. I want to say it's kind of... Um, I see everything. I do see some fuchsia, tiny, tiny fuchsia. Uh, sparkles in there as well as teal ones so this one you're gonna have to like pick up and look at yourself because I'm probably not gonna be able to pick it up on camera but it is just absolutely gorgeous and then here is the swatch of it see it's a very very tealy green color very pretty okay now the next one is um, a glitter now this line has probably about, and I'm just guessing, I'm going to say it probably has about, out of the 29 shades, there's probably 10 glitters that are different sizes. Some of them are, you know, all tiny, like top coat kind of glitters. There was a couple of flakies. Um, so you have like that iridescent kind of flaky texture. There was a couple of those. There's a couple of like the one I'm going to show you. And then, um, there was uh, what was it, like uh, just like plain glitter I, I can't think of the name right now but anyway so this one is called sparks fly and this is kind of a light blue glitter and there are three different size glitters in this bottle so you have the really really fine ones then there's a medium size one that is kind of um, a silver sh silver shade and then there's the bigger ones, the hexagon ones which are silver as well it is in a light blue base so right here on this is two uh two swat two coats i don't know yeah it's two coats right here on the wheel okay next we have that was the end of my triple shine uh collection haul whatever but I do have two other Sally Hansen polishes that I just recently picked up and they are also glitters so if you guys want to just bear with me before I get to the my first impression of this triple shines um, I picked up one of the Sally Hansen extreme wear uh, in silver streamers which is a glitter and if you guys don't know about like this particular line of polishes these are great polishes they last such a long time this one is uh, in a clear base and it has black and silver glitters in different sizes. And I'll show you the swatch here. It also has black bar, bar glitters, which you guys can see there. 
Okay, very, very pretty on the top coat. It kind of reminds me of Maybelline Color Show and Clearly Spotted. Kind of reminds me of that, except um, instead of white, they have silver. Okay, um, but I like this one better. The next one, the last one that I picked up is the, what is this called? Oh, Confetti Cake. Okay, so this is a same type of glitter. It's in a light purple base. And as you can see, there's kind of the purple... Uh, hexagon the very very tiny purple shimmers and then there's like that blue medium size hexagon glitters in there as well and here is um, a swatch of that one okay there you are definitely a topper I would not wear this alone so here is just kind of a you know, a review of the colors, and there is that beautiful shine on those first six there. The first thing I notice as far as a review, first impression, they're very opaque. Like, some of them I almost didn't even need to put a second coat, but I did just to get kind of like an even, full opacity finish, and I wanted to see um, how close they got to the colors in the bottle. The shimmers are absolutely beautiful. It's my favorite part of the line so far. Um, I, this black one, this, what is this called? Black Slick? Slick Black? I'm sorry. This one, um, I'm very excited to wear. I guess I'm kind of in a, a gray, bluish phase right now. And I can't wait to wear that one. Um, the cream finish, uh, this red one, this one went on very, very smoothly. Um, it was opaque in two coats. Uh, the shine was immediate. Like you could see the shine within the first coat. So if you kind of picked up a shade that had that you can get away with one coat on, it would look like you had on a top coat. You'd be out the door. You're done. Um, as far as drying time, I want to say that it was average drying time. Um, I probably waited in between coats maybe about five minutes, and then I put the second coat on because I didn't want it to be streaky on the wheel when I showed it to you guys. Um, so I kind of waited uh, five minutes or so, put on the second coat, um, no top coat or anything like that. The shimmers are very, very even. Um, they pick up in the light just beautifully. So I, I'm very excited to uh, wear these. And there are a couple more shades that I want to get. These should be heading, hitting your stores uh, fairly soon. I mean, if I'm seeing them here, then I'm assuming you guys probably will start seeing them in your... Walgreens and I know they're in Meyer stores in different parts of the country um, so far so other than that if you guys have seen this collection or you purchased some tell me which ones you purchased down below um, give me your thoughts and impressions and let me know what you think of them um, and let me know what you thought of the smell too if you have them let me know what you thought of the smell I mean like I said it's not too horrible it's just it smells like kind of like a nail salon a little bit not a big deal when you're talking about nail polish, right? Okay, so anyway, if there's anything else, guys, don't forget to leave your comments and thoughts down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!